<laughs> and I can tell you right now, it's a pain in the ass. I don't want to say pain in the ass. Okay, right fun. quick, I want to do a video on playing video games and uh, just how realistic these video games are today. Like, if you look at someone playing one of these video games, you would think, like, yeah, it's just a video game. It's not much physical uh, attributes to it. Doesn't take a lot, but that's just not true. <laughs> these games take a lot of energy. Like, to play this game realistically you really have to one practice a lot if you really just want to be good at it because if you start looking at these numbers of some of these guys I mean I'm at number ranked 19,189 doing a 1.17 and that took me quite a bit of time to get that just playing it maybe the last hour here and you might think like well I mean yeah it's not that big a deal but when you when you think about people playing video games and people that do it for a living and you think like ah that's not that hard you know it's not like digging ditches or getting up and going to work uh, dang that motorcycle out getting up and going to work or leaving a job whatever but no when you see these guys on YouTube that do this stuff for a living it's a lot of work for them and it's actually physical physically tasking and mentally tasking I, I would venture to say that somebody going out and digging a ditch and maybe building a house is not quite as mentally tasked as somebody that plays a video game for a living especially one where you have to strategize physically actually move uh, body parts like race cars motorcycles uh, even some of the uh, NBA 2K type games I mean not quite as physical but still definitely tasking but a game like this right you, to really play a game like this you have to basically know about setting up cars fuel load aerodynamics you know for which track you need which aerodynamics you need more wing less wing more front wing bring wing all of that transmission I mean this used to be a different uh, a different process on some of the earlier games but they've changed this along with the with the uh, with the game that's mimicking the real world with the differentials in transmission so you will learn it one way and then you got to learn it a different way and they gave you some nice little pointers over here about how to adjust it and what's what. But still, if you're playing this for a living, not just for fun like I do, for a living, it's 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 a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Uh, and don't even get into this part, camber, real camber. You you pretty much got to know what's happening with a real car to understand how to do this in a way that gives you uh, an advantage and it, it actually does give you an advantage if you figure this stuff out now a lot of times people go with the default settings and that's probably because everybody else is going with the default settings in the game and so when you're playing in competition though playing for a living uh, you know it's it's a little more difficult and most gamers don't just play this one game they play multiple games and each one of those games they got to become real proficient at and on the surface it looks like it's really really easy but 
I can tell you now, I'm sitting here just driving this for fun, and I'm sweating like a pig in heat. I mean, I'm, I'm, I got a fan on, you know, I'm sitting here trying to drive around this track and make the necessary adjustments to, to, to get some decent laps. And I can tell you right now, it's a pain in the ass. I don't want to say pain in the ass, because it is fun, but my point here is that Playing a video game is hard work. It's a different kind of hard work, but it's definitely hard work. It's not easy. I mean, I'm not even trying real hard here, but just, you know, thinking about what gear you got to get in, you know, uh, the next curve you got to turn. I got this. Uh, curve monitor on that tells me you know what's going to happen with the track but a lot of guys don't use this and they have to learn the track they got to know what curve they got to know when to downshift when to break yeah, it's it's a lot it's a lot of work so that's kind of what I want to talk about here in this in this video and it's not just this game let's say you make videos for for uh, a living this is what you do you do YouTube videos for a living and you want to play multiple games some guys that specialize in a certain game and that's all they do and some guys specialize in multiple games and they end up having to learn all of those games. I didn't want to restart. I'm trying to get out of this. They have to learn the in and outs of all of those games. Like if you want to be a GTA uh, No, I don't want to restart. I want to advance. If you want to play, you know, like uh, GTA 5 and that's your specialty you 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 gotta learn it and be good at it and then let's talk about making the videos for it and editing the videos for it that is a lot of work don't let nobody fool you to think it's not a work and one reason I'm doing this video is that if you're one of those people who feel that you know you can do this for a living that you want to do video games for a living you you, you need to understand that uh, <laughs> yeah man it's a lot of work and not only is it a lot of work you you have to buy a lot of games to really present a good channel to people and it, it maybe you don't have to buy a lot of games, but you got to keep up with a lot of games. Let's say if you're just going to play one game, this, this is your mainstream. Like say it's F1, or my, my thing is I like to play DCS or, and Flight Sims. Excuse the background noise, I'm taking down my uh, wheel, which is another thing you got to deal with is buying equipment. Right now I have a wheel, I have flight sticks, I have mouse, mice, special mice, I have headphones, but then you gotta buy the games. And the games, the games these days aren't cheap. You know, if you look at my investment here in these games, just these small, this small number of games, just think $59 each just roughly go $60 each for a game even though some of them might cost less than that on average it's going to be about $60 each and if I got the uh, what the uh, three I got about 15 games here yeah about 15 or so games here just do the math 
it is not a cheap hobby or profession it's not cheap at all but even when I say that you got to look at also the potential reward because if you really get good at this like a lot like some of these guys have done if you really get good at this here's the kind of money you can make and let me pull up uh, let me pull up some guys here on social blade that are doing GTA like some of these guys that do GTA they are making a killing yeah so his specialty is GTA so you can you can do it this way and it's probably the best way to go is you become a niche channel only doing one game KF Gaming when you look at KF Gaming uh, channel and then you look at the money he's making his thing is right now he does and please don't throw up when you see this number here but this number is real but his thing is Roblox he does Roblox and look at the numbers so it's a lot of work it really is a lot of work but the rewards like you can't dig enough ditches or build enough houses for just an average dude to make this kind of money sitting in his house mind you a lot of work but sitting at his house making video games and earning this kind of money and don't think that just because you know there's a lot of gamers out there that there's not enough uh, money to go around because on YouTube alone when you look at YouTube stats I mean just just look at the numbers it's mind-boggling 2 billion users worldwide 79 percent of internet users have their own YouTube account 400 hours of video uploaded upload to YouTube every minute 90 percent of US digital video viewers use YouTube's the most popular digital channel or digital video consumption channel is YouTube you understand so <laughs> that's why y'all see me playing video games and I ain't no teenager because if you look at these numbers and all you really got to do you all you really got to do is find a niche market a niche game or play games that you like record them drop them on YouTube they ain't even got to be no fancy recordings I mean let's just look at some of Kev's game he ain't got a little fancy now uh, <laughs> with Kev what is but up my family at, we are back I mean, and we are on this this dude and here, plays hey, video Teddy. games how you doing <laughs> we almost look like you understand twins. what I'm saying okay this let me let me start shaking you up here Teddy uh oh your backpack is full okay let's and go ahead and sell is, all right we just keep shaking Teddy this is what he all does the way until we fill up our <laughs> backpack guys maybe Every I should make just a keep video running like in this. and out <laughs> I just get so maybe this is the strategy is to have the most pennies to me <laughs> and to get the most coins they can make and then we have the shop this kind of money I think I got two videos running now oh no I don't if they can make this kind of money playing this kind of video game so I don't want to keep rambling on I started this because I was playing that racing game and then I realized how tired I was after I got through playing it I mean I am physically and mentally drained after playing that game for an hour just the driving I feel like I just got out of a race car I'm literally soaked in sweat you understand 
And so when people say that, you know, the games don't have any kind of physical uh, effort required, that's bullshit. It's, this is work. It is work. But what I'm getting at here is people who say this is not a job, they trip it. Ha, 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 ha.